Let's talk about politeness. Here I introduce the idea that linguistic behaviors fall on a continuum of politeness and a little bit about what that continuum might look like. So imagine the range of things that people say in a range of social situations. For example, yes ma'am, in some English speaking communities would be an appropriate thing, a nice thing for a child to say to his teacher. What about yes ma'am in a group meeting at work or in some other situations? These are different behaviors. So a given linguistic expression could function quite differently in different situations. Now, what if I were to ask you to think all possible linguistic behaviors and categorize them in two piles, put them in two piles, either impolite or polite? Right away, this seems impossible, right? Because it seems as though some behaviors are very polite, others are just a little bit polite, some maybe feel kind of neutral. So it probably seems more useful and accurate to not have just two categories, but to recognize that there's probably a continuum ranging from impolite to polite. But also, if we think of the possible implications of having a continuum set up like this, are we saying that over here on the impolite side, the more impolite that behavior gets, the more unpleasant and unwelcome it is? That seems right. Would the reverse be true? Over here on the right, on the polite end, the more polite something gets, the more welcome and nice it is? You know, that actually doesn't bear out. So if somebody says, can you pass the salt? Do you think you could pass the salt? Is a little more polite. And what about if somebody went to all the way to the extreme? Excuse me, normally I wouldn't dream of bothering you with this. But do you suppose there's any way you might possibly pass the salt? That is just too much for almost any situation that I can imagine. And especially if this is said among family members or people who know each other really well, really close friends, for example, that is just a lot. It is not better than saying, please pass the salt or could you pass the salt? So in fact, it's not true that the more polite, the better. And in fact, the far over the top politeness reaches around and meets the other extreme so that there is impolite and then worse than impolite there is rude at this extreme and then there's polite and taking it into an extreme there is over polite and in terms of how nice or welcome it is it really meets in the middle with behavior that seemed to be at the other end of the extreme. So this gives us an idea of how to place linguistic behaviors on this continuum of politeness.